I'm glad she's safe, but she's out of control. Well, lighten up. I mean, she's a kid. Kids are always doing stupid stuff. Yeah, well, some more than others. I'll remind you of that when Amber's her age. Uh, Amber will never be like that. She's got better role models for a start. Who are we talking about? Sarah Sugden. She's got involved in drugs now. No, she hasn't. It's all been some kind of mix. Well, I'm sure this Ethan boy didn't want to get all involved. Well, she's okay now, though. Yeah, I think so. Although Debbie's had to come back from Scotland, so I'm sure that hasn't gone down too well. Right, well, I'll see you later. I've got a meeting. There's nothing in the calendar. Oh. What? Jay doesn't have to tell us every time he has a meeting. It's for Arthur, if you must know. A first look at your GCSE options. <laughs> Sounds thrilling. Laurel didn't want to go on her own. No, I think it's really good that you can both be there for him. I'll see you later. Bye. You're popular? Yeah, well, that makes a change. See to you, he's getting bombarded. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it. I know. It's Dad. He's sending me pictures of wedding dresses and he's invited himself to take a vow later. What for? Andrew's getting some dresses delivered for me to try. I uh, invited Manpri. I thought we could have some girly time. Well, just tell him you can't go. Mm, yeah, but he's really excited. It's quite sweet, really. Even if he is doing my head in. Uh, let me take you out uh, after. No, it's just uh, late lunch. I thought you had loads on. I can always make time for you. Oh, well, in that case, the pub will be lovely. No, 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 let's uh, drive out somewhere, you know, uh, make an afternoon of it. Oh, babe, I'd love that, but Manpreet and Dad will still be with me. And by the time we're done, he's going to be ready to eat his own arm, so the pub will be fine. Oh, Dad's wondering where I am. You better go, then. I'm not even late. Yeah, but you don't want him picking at your dress. Good point. Are you okay to put the table for lunch? Yeah, it's all sorted at the hide. Like I'm working till you're done. So go, go, go. Find the meringue of your dreams. Oh, hi. I heard about Sarah. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, not now. Okay. Chicken salad. Oh, yes, yeah, same for me, please. Yeah, me too. Oh, well, that's easy. <laughs> she has picked the most wonderful dress. Don't tell him anything, Dad. But yes, yes, it is perfect. I can't wait to see it. You'll have to hide it well when it arrives, otherwise we might find him sneaking around <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> mm, he wouldn't dare. Don't worry, I want it to be a surprise. Oh, have you told him about the most wonderful caterers Andrea found? Oh, Dad, they're too expensive. Honestly, one of the hotel packages would be fine. I want you to have the best. And anyway, you've not even tried the hotel food yet. Yeah, well, they've got a really good reputation. We should probably get on with choosing what we're going to go for, though. I'll, I'll give them a call. Well, you don't have to do it right now. No, it's fine. The number's in the office. Well, I've got it on my phone. Is it just me or is he acting a little bit weird? <laughs> He's excited. You're not worried, are you? No, no. No, you're right. He just wants everything to be perfect. <laughs> No, no, thank you. <laughs> hey, maybe Vina should do her drinks thing here rather than the pub. Uh, you and Jay are coming, I hope. Uh, sorry, you've lost me. Mina's organising family drinks tomorrow. Apparently we all need to get to know David. <laughs> well, isn't that a bit... Not... Weird and attention-seeking? Yep, that's Mina for you. <laughs> oh, no, it's just that Jay never mentioned anything. First, I've heard about it too. Yeah, don't worry, you can sit next to me. I'll protect you. <laughs> Don't be cruel. Mina can be a bit full on, but she won't bite. Oh, well, glad to hear it. Uh, Al, uh, is the table booked for tonight to test the wedding packages? Mm, eight o'clock. Perfect. Table for two, I'm afraid. Oh, only well, I assumed you wanted our input. Darling, you have to let them do something on their own. Um, thank you, Al, for a lovely lunch. Mm. Look, uh, I should have asked, but uh, I didn't just get a table. I got us a room for the night. David's going to have Amber, and I just thought we could, you know, use a break. Well, yeah, you have been looking a little bit stressed. Is that a yes? I'll go and pack. OK, well, the spa's expecting you in just over an hour. What? Well, I booked it for both of us, but uh, I forgot I got a meeting. Sorry, you forgot a meeting? This is the man who seems to have memorised the whole office calendar? <laughs> it was a last-minute thing. But it's OK, we'll do the spa another time. No, I don't want you to miss out. Why? It's just a spa. Unless there's something else you're not telling me. Like a special surprise. But, OK, well, there, there might be, but that's about as much as I'm saying. <sighs> OK, fine, but don't be late for dinner. And in future, let me know when you're planning a surprise, cos my favourite top's in the wash, OK? <laughs> you look beautiful whatever you wear. <laughs>